Now in this second lecture, we will revise some examples in which alkenes and alkynes are named as per the IUPAC system of nomenclature. The most important rule while selecting the parent chain is you have to select the longest possible chain containing multiple bonds as a parent chain. I am not saying longest chain, I am saying longest possible chain. But that chain should contain a multiple bond. So in this case, the chain that contains double bond and has maximum number of carbon atoms is selected as a parent chain. Next rule, chain is numbered in such a way that Double bonded carbon gets lowest locant. So in this case, this parent chain that has 6 carbon atoms and a double bond is numbered from the right hand side instead of getting number, instead of numbering this chain from the bottom, we are numbering it from right hand side so that the carbon which is double bonded gets locant 1. If the chain is numbered from the lower side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the double bonded carbon will get locant 5. So which out of 1 and 5, 1 is the lower number. So obviously the chain has to be numbered from right hand side. What will be the IUPAC name of this compound? Carbon number 3 has one methyl substituent and one ethyl substituent. Out of M and E, E is alphabetically preferred while naming ethyl substituent must be mentioned first. Further, the double bond is present between carbon 1 and 2. Out of 1 and 2, 1 is the lower number. So how to number, name this compound? Carbon number 3 has ethyl substituent. Between word and number, there is a hyphen. 3 hyphen ethyl. Again, there is methyl substituent at the same carbon. So 3 methyl. There are 6 carbons in the parent chain. So the root word is hex. The position of double bond is between 1 and 2. So the lower number 1 indicates the position of the double bond hyphen and for double bond the suffix is ene -E. primary suffix is ene -E. similarly in this case this is a symmetrical molecule so you can number the parent chain from either ends right hand side as well as left hand side now here carbon number 2 has two methyl substituents and carbon number 5 has two more methyl substituents. So carbon number 2 and carbon number 5 have two methyl substituents each. So there are total four methyl substituents. So we should add prefix tetra before the name of alkyl group. Further, double bond is present between carbon number 3 and carbon number 4. And there are six carbon atoms in the parent chain. So the root word is X. Now what will be the name of this compound? 2, 2, 5, 5. In ascending order you have to indicate these locants. Tetramethyl. Root word hex. Position of double bond is indicated by the lower number 3. And since double bond is present, primary suffix is ENE. Between two numbers there is comma. Between word and number there is a hyphen. Here, this is how we will number. You can number it from either ends. There are four carbons, so the root word is but. Triple bond is between carbon number 2 and 3. So the lower number 2 is mentioned. And this primary suffix indicating triple bond is yne. So this is 2-butyne or but 2 yne. Here, number the chain from the end which is closer to the multiple bond. So the chain is numbered from the right hand side. On carbon number 4, there are two methyl substituents. So prefix di should be added. And the triple bond is present. What will be the name of this compound? 4, 4 hyphen dimethyl. Root word is pent. Position of triple bond 1. And primary suffix indicating triple bond 1. 
when hydrocarbons contain both double as well as triple bonds the compound is called as enine alkenine and not alkynine it is enine that is first al preference is given to ene and then yne is written Now there are some special rules. Numbering is done in such a manner that double bond and triple bond gets the lowest possible number. If double bond and triple bond have same locant, that is, when there is a tie in the position of double and triple bond, then always the preference is given to the double bond. Only when there is a tie, the preference is given to the double bond. Otherwise, give the preference to that multiple bond which is closer to the end. This point is very interesting. I am repeating. while numbering the chain containing double and triple bond start numbering from the end which is closer to the multiple bond that multiple bond can be a double bond or a triple bond but when there is a tie in the locants of double bond and triple bond give preference to double bond for example in this case there is a tie in the position of double bond and triple bond if we number it from rhs double bond has locant 1 if we number it from lhs triple bond has locant 1 so when there is a tie give preference to double bond that's why it is numbered from rhs now between 1 and 2 there is a double bond and there are total 5 carbons between carbon 4 and 5 there is a triple bond root word is pent 5 carbons hyphen 1 hyphen E N last E is not written because it will be then replaced with Y N E. Triple bond is present between carbon four and five, so the lower number is four, and primary suffix indicating triple bond is Y N E. So the name of this compound is pent one in four Y N E. In this case, we need to number from the left hand side because if we number from the left hand side. multiple bond gets locant 1 if we number it from right hand side multiple bond will get number 1 2 if we number it from right hand side locant for multiple bond will be 1 2 3 4 4 of 1 and 4 one is preferred so we are numbering it from lhs now between 1 and 2 there is a double bond between 4 and 5 there is a triple bond and there are total 8 carbons so the root word is opt 1 en what's the position of triple bond carbon number 4 and what's the primary suffix for the triple bond yne in b case again we should number from left hand side because when we number it from left hand side the set of locants will be 1 comma 3 comma 6 right 1 is triple bond 3 is double bond and 6 is double bond and when we number it from rhs the set of locants will be 1 try to understand this point very well 1 2 3 4 so the second locant will be 4 5 6 next locant will be 6 so there is a tie at first locant set 1 1 at first locant at second locant tie is broken in the favor of lhs because 3 is lower than 4 that's why we have numbered it from lhs now there are total two double bonds so root plus a form should be used and one triple bond root there are total seven carbons so it must be hept plus a hepta now what are the positions of double bonds double bonds are present at carbon number 3 and between carbon 3 and 4 and 6 and 7 So the lower number is three comma six. There are two double bonds, so di is added before en. Di en. Last e is not written because it will be replaced with yne. 
and triple bond is present between carbon 1 and 2 so 1 yna